Hello friends, this is our 10th problem in our tutorial series on dynamic programming problems, which is house robber. So guys, just I've, I've been asked by, by a few of the students that uh, how many problems we're going to solve. So my target is to solve 50 problems, uh, 50 most popular dynamic programming problems. So here we are now with the 10th problem, which is house robber. So the problem statements state that you are a professional robber planning to rob houses along a street. For example, here, just the example that there are four houses in a row and each house has a certain amount of money stashed. For example, house one is having amount of one, house two is having amount of two, three as three and fourth house has got cash amount of one. The only constraint, uh, the only constraint stopping you from robbing each of them is that adjacent houses have security systems connected. And it will automatically contact the police if two adjacent houses were broken into on the same night. So, for example, if I if if I rob this house, right, one. So it means that I cannot rob the adjacent house as two because there's a security system installed here, which will contact the police, and then it will. Uh, I mean, the, the, the robber would be put in the jail, right? So it means that, and suppose if I choose like two, in that case, we cannot rob as either one and three. These are the two adjacent houses. And we can only rob the one which is left. Similarly, we scored for three as well. If I choose to rob three, then we can I can only left with one. I can only rob one. So this is this is what the condition says that and uh, in the last the last possible scenario is that i choose one and two okay so these are all the possible combinations and we have to find, find out that what is the maximum amount which a robber can uh, can rob so here the output is given as four and explanation is given already that if the if we rob house one that is this one and then rob house three we get three plus one four, which is our the maximum amount possible. If we choose another, any other combination like two and one, then it then it's three. So three is less than four. So maybe let's go with the, the second example. That is two, seven, nine, three, and one. Output is twelve. So as the explanation says that if we rob house one, this. Let me again choose this and use this. Okay. If I choose two, sorry. If I choose two and rob house three, that is nine, and then rob house five. So nine plus two plus one is twelve, which is our solution. There are other combinations possible, which we are. Which, uh, for example, if I choose say seven. And then I'm so I cannot rob two and nine then, and I can only rob three or one. So out of three and one, I will choose three. But seven plus three would be ten. Ten is less than twelve. So this is this is the problem statement. And in the next video, we'll see that how to solve this problem using our bottom-up dynamic plumbing approach. See you in the next video.